indie awesomeness korea music playlist first up this week is third line butterflies live studio recording of smoke hot coffee refill We've talked about Third Line Butterfly before and we've actually seen them live in concert and they are awesome. While I definitely dig the sound of Third Line Butterfly, I admit that I thought the song was a little bit slow to start, but it is worth the wait. Plus, once you hear it one time only, then you realize how lovely the beginning is and it really adds to the song. Unfortunately, they don't have a music video for this yet, so we're gonna show you the live version from Studio Lovo. I'm actually way more impressed with this version than the album version. I think it's because the progression sounds a lot better. It kind of reminds me a lot of that live Emogen Heat performance Emogen? Emogen? Emo. Emogen! Emogen! Lee, help me! Imogen! Imogen? Imogen! Imogen Heat performance for the song just for now. Both really build on layers and loops, so the climax is way better. Is that the right word I should be saying there, climax? It kind of sounds kind of sexual to me. It does. What should I say? The peak? That sounds sexual too. The Explodals of Mania! That's much better. This is one of Third Line Butterfly's softer songs. It leans more towards experimental rock, but it's still very pleasant and the lyrics become very addictive. Smoke, hot, coffee, thin. Although part of me kind of feels like I'm watching an art student's poem reading. You know the kind where the person is all like reading their lyrics seriously and then they start like snapping their fingers and like lights start flickering on and off and then somehow it ends up with them being just in their underwear smeared with tomatoes and feces. No? Am I the only one that was stuck going to those things? <laughs> Okay, well, we'll stick around and check out the excellent Third Line Butterfly song and video coming up later on. I choose you, Lee! Worst hit five ever! And by hit five, I mean high five! Shut up! So our second video today is also from Studio Lobo. I'm not 100% sure what Studio Lobo's deal is apart from bringing kick-ass Korean music masterminds to YouTube, but I like them. Good work, Studio Lobo, because if it wasn't for you, it would be completely impossible for me to gush about lyrical whiz kid Benzino and his sixth studio version of Aquaman. You said you don't gotta go, please don't call me no more. Oh. Isn't just a sweet kickback and bob your neck track, it's deep. It's got metaphors and stuff, like being a cop fish kept in an aquarium with a bunch of other cop fish. You thought you were gonna be this girl's man, but she is keeping you like a pet goldfish. I get it. I've seen those ultra hot girls play with men a little strange just because they can. Dudes, why do you put up with these antics? Okay, so she's a model, but she's also a bitch. I'm not saying all models are bitches, but I am saying there are hot chicks out there who aren't manipulative crazy. So stop trying to get with the fish fetish girl and go find one of them already. Now, I don't care how perfectly sculpted your ass is, that is no reason to keep cute Korean rappers in orange sweaters and your little fish tank of suitors. He's wearing an orange sweater? Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. I like orange sweaters. I don't like the color orange myself, I look terrible. Benzino has this loose mouth delivery that is both impossible to replicate and strangely addictive. And who says Korea ain't got no DJing culture? This is just two turntables and a microphone and they make it work. They even kept in that part at the end where he shouts, fish sticks. Susie and I play Benzino a lot in the studio as part of Simon and Martina's continuing Korean hip hop education. Take a listen and you'll see why. But now I must retrieve Martina for her requester choice. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Last up we got an indie riffic request from, let me say it right, Valyria, Valyria. Valeria, Valeria, did I get that right? To pick the band's story seller for their song, Absolute Optical Illusion. Also joining us for her request is her inanimate object friend, Enter, who is not just any CD, but the very first awesome album of the Cox. You have such excellent taste in music, V. Can I call you V? I'll take your silence as a yes. Story Seller is an all-girl rock group. That's right, an all-girl rock band, and you don't see that very often. Also, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed by their skills with a Z. This song is on the softer side of rock, but then it has bursts of heavier rock kind of sprinkled in it. Listening at first, I thought this was gonna be like a sad-sounding ballad song, which you know I'm not really that into. But then the 30-second mark kicks in with some really cool, like, staticky, glitchy sounds, and the epicness almost reminded me of Muse. Then at the chorus, it really kicks in with the heavy rock and her rich, belting vocals. And at the very end, the lead singer really sold it to me with her awesome high notes. The video is pretty funky and creepy hypnotic as well with its air guitars. This is a guitar. And its air drums. Don't judge me. The whole rustic, dirty, cobweb set and the blue light bulb that she sings into. Which is probably not a real microphone. V also mentions that Story Seller used to go by the name Bloody Cookie, but after their second album, they changed the name. Personally, I think Bloody Cookie is a kind of cool band name with a heck of a lot more memorability than Story Seller, but maybe they wanted to reach a wider demographic of people who might get grossed out with things like cookies or blood or 
I'll just stop there. But one last thing. Does anyone else think this kind of sounds like J-Rock? <gasps> Not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying kind of feels like the J-Rock vibe going on there. Feel free to click any of the videos below to see some of the studio logo performances we mentioned, or if you followed our suggestion and put yourself in playlist mode, you'll get to see them all anyway. Have a Korean band you want us to feature? Let us know by filming a video request and posting it in the leave comment box below, where a blue post video response link will pop up. Click that and let's all spread the indie Korean love around like an infectious disease of happiness and groovy bass lines, killer hooks, and surrounded by the toils of unshaven engineers squabbling over the timber of hi hats and the sibilance of splashes. But a nun, an intern comes Four okay, young lady. You're okay. For shame! Hark! This is enough. Hark! This is enough.